Hi, this is Kaylin in the Get More Sales by Improving Your Website, Make Yours a User-Friendly Website, video number two. Like I said, I'm Kaylin, and I like to help people be authentic, be who they are, and be unlimited. And I do this also by helping entrepreneurs get in the flow of growing their business, growing their sales, so that they can grow their lives. In today's video, I'd like to talk to you about how you can improve your website because in the first video I talked about the importance of making sure that you don't overlook your website and making sure that you realize that this is your brick and mortar store, your virtual one. So this is where you want people to really have a good experience. Just like you would a store, you'd really try to make it clean and nice, modern. You want to do the same thing with your website. When you're looking at your website, I'll tell you one of the biggest secrets is you can do one thing and one thing alone and it's going to improve things for you. Sure, the rest of your website needs to sort of follow suit with it, but if you focus on one thing alone, your the the landing page of your website when someone first goes to your URL or whatever page they go to most. Some websites have a blog that's very active and the first page people go to is their blog. So the one page that gets the most traffic Make sure that your real estate is fabulous. What I mean by this is, just like in the world of real estate, they always say that the price is determined by only three things, location, location, location. Um, I don't know if you find that a little annoying, but that's what they say. I find it a little annoying, but I understand it, and it has a lot of truth. Because, <laughs> sorry, that's my chihuahua playing with my cat. Because um, if you have... A home on the beach, it's just going to plain old be more expensive than if you have a home, you know, in the middle of a slum neighborhood kind of thing. You know, the location sets everything and it sets the price. Based on the location alone, people are going to want to buy there or not want to buy there before they even look at a house. The same is true of your website. When people come to your highest priced real estate, which is that one page they enter in, it's usually your home page. And, you know, based on what they see there, that's how they're going to be making their decision. So in other words, when you look at your home page or your blog, whatever page is getting the most traffic, what you want to do is you want to look at the page, what's called above the fold. So what this means is whatever is seen on a computer or a mobile phone without having to scroll down. And that is because most people are not going to scroll down. I know it's a little hard to believe and for a business owner and a website owner it's really not what you want to hear. But if you can sort of grin and bear it and understand that that's a cold hard truth that you can use to your advantage, you're going to be far more of a savvy entrepreneur. So when someone first comes to your website without scrolling down, that's your hottest real estate, so to speak. That area above the fold is the area that you want to focus on first and foremost. You want to make sure that it is modern. You want to make sure that it is viewer friendly. And you want to make sure that it is simple. You want to kiss your website, keep it simple, silly, because in this modern age where we go through things so fast, we get text messages that are short, we tweet on Twitter and everything's short, you know, everything has to be very clear and concise and direct. So you want to make sure that your website is like that too. You don't want too much on there that'll drive people crazy and they won't know what you offer. Less is more. All right, I hope that helps you. I hope that helps you change some of how you see your website. I hope it makes you rethink what your website is like and hopefully gets you to realize how important it is to look at that either homepage or the one page that people land on the most. Again, this is Kaylin with socialaficionados.com and um, you can look for my next video, part three, where we'll talk about why you want yours to be a WordPress site or something very much like that. Thanks again for joining me. Here's to your growing your sales.